I'm Stuart Finlay and I'm going to be breaking down the 2 1 victory over Celtic and I'll be back back in the day. So here we go. It's a good spell for us back then. That was when we probably at our peak under the old manager, under Steve Clark. And I remember going into that game that I'd been struggling my knee, it was like a week before it. And the manager, the way he always was, the master of the man management mind games, he said, just, he said, if you don't play this game, he went, but basically said, you're playing this game. So I got myself ready and I remember him, he was quite complimentary about that afterwards. Bucky's in position as he would be, swords in the box, were perfect set up. Tierney just basically slings a, a ball in that isn't the best ball. A horrible bounce it takes a ball just before him and we've all been there, you miss kick it, it goes to the back post and I think Greg was auditioning for his Celtic move that day by trying to put it in the top, Danny, but he hits it off the post. Griffiths, to be fair to him, that's what he's amazing at. I might be caught flat footed because I'm not expecting it, but he's he's ready. Ball ha falls out in his path and I think they score near the end of the half and you're thinking they're one nil up and your head could go down but the first thing you think of is we've, we've done well here, they don't deserve to be one nil up. It's, uh, it was the day that Yusuf came back um, <laughs> to Rugby Park in, in different <laughs> colours do you, do you still have a little bit of fun with him and Tash to their kind of midfield tussle that day? It's weird, I think they're trying to make up for lost time about arguing because you can't get the two away for each other now as best pals but <laughs> it's funny like Malumbu is like, he's like a dog in heat that day, he's everywhere trying to get involved and I think he, I think he was trying so hard to try and just show the Kelly fans who loved him so much that he could do it for Celtic and I think a, a few boys in our team sort of relished getting involved with him because like this one here, Tish, barging for the back and there will be three people tackling him then the, the army starts there. I think that's, you've got Al involved, you've got Burke involved, give it a few seconds and I'm sure you see there is Broders coming out of nowhere, like, so we're all getting involved, Malumba's fuming, I love bringing it up to him now but to be fair to Tish that day, he done brilliant for us that day and that, Malumba signed obviously in the January and they had a good laugh about it, I think the two of them are obviously great pals and I think even Tish said something about that after the game like enemies on the park friends off or something along those lines. I think the goal, I think it must have came from a corner because somehow it breaks and broad as a stand out in the left wing. But I think, I'm trying to say, yeah, it starts out there, ball sort of breaks and it, just, it, it never really falls for anybody but we keep the ball alive. The first header here, Tish wins it brilliant, Brothers wins the second header brilliant, it falls to Al and then gets his foot in the ball, bit of composure and then you don't realise how good a strike is at the time until you watch it back. He's hit it for 25 yards into a very good goalkeeper and Gordon got nowhere near it. And that dry pitch to be able to strike the ball as well as that. And again, yeah we're celebrating but it's not a celebration of oh my god we just scored against Celtic. It's a, yeah we're back in the game, that's where we deserve to be in the game. And, it showed that like, we didn't sit on that. Yeah, Celtic may had a bit of pressure, but we, we knew what we were capable of, and that goal goes in. But with the players we've got in the park, we know what could follow, and obviously we find out what follows quite soon after that, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, that was a, again, Celtic edging a bit. You start to get tired, you can't put that intensity for that long and not start to feel it a little bit. One thing about Jama was he was one of the best shot stoppers that I played with, and in this, in, particular instance, what he's so good at Jam is if you hit a shot he was already there because he was so good at leading where you're going to go. A lot of keepers would have waited to see if he was going to go near post, far post. I don't know if my body shape helps Jammer that he knows he can't really go near. Jammer already takes a step early doors, took a step and then it's a great effort and it's a fantastic save even taking the step. But Jammer done that time and time again when we were struggling. My first time here under the Gary Locke sort of era we we struggled at times, we lost a few games and Jama is our main credit for keeping the scores down at times. Well, first of all, we get the corner and I was going to stay back. 
thinking, ah, 93rd minute, we've got a point here. Stay back, broadled, let not get forward, last chance. But I think working my idea, he tried to call people in. But at that point, I've said, I'm up here now. And it's one of the ones, you're worried about the counter, obviously. But I think it was genuinely 93 plus, and we'd played the 93, and I'm thinking, it might be our luck, but unless they catch that flush and somebody's through and goal, they're not going to get it. It's your last chance. Yeah, you've got a point, but you've got the last play. Why don't you go for it and don't make a mess of it? Don't sky it. Don't just get it on target. And thankfully I did. And as they say, the rest is history if you want to go for the sort of trademark line. But yeah, got away from him. Ball's in. Flick. Bang. Goal. This next bit I'm not... It's never been my forte celebrating as some of my previous examples go, but MD Wurst I thought would have been clearing the boarding in with the crowd, whatever. I sort of stopped before it, doing awkward sort of fist pump and whatever, but at that point you're not caring. Like that's one of my favourite scenes here. It's when it goes to the the main stand, you've got your boy hands in the air, praising don't know who he's praising, but he's praising somebody. And then you just you look at every sort of action, you could pause it, rewind about a million times and then it's moments like that, it's amazing on the part, but to see what it means to support number one, support number two, it's just moments that I don't have them often and as I said it was a really special day and moments that year, but the last minute winner, score against Celtic, it's, it's not a bad one for myself. <laughs>